Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to an episode of Bull Drack. My name is Bull, and I wanted to just to talk a little bit real quick about, uh, kind of do a, an update for the state of the channel, state of my Patreon, etc., etc., etc. So, first things first, I ran my first Patreon-supported uh, uh, Shadowrun game, RPG game, last night online. Uh, you know, technically second game, because it was a continuation from last week. Uh, but we had some complications last week. Um, I wasn't feeling great and everything, so we only kind of did a little intro stuff, and then this week was the uh, the meat of the game. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I want to say a special thanks to Tony Brooks and uh, Jeff Jones for playing. Um, they were my two Patreon players who, who were available that night, and... Um, they, they seem to have a lot of fun, so hopefully they enjoyed the game. Uh, besides them, I also had a guest player, Jason Hardy, the Shadowrun line developer. Uh, so that was a lot of fun, and uh, his character met an untimely demise. <laughs> so that was kind of fun, too, because, you know, how often do you get to kill the line developer for the game you're running? Um, <laughs> so that was that was neat. Uh, overall, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it's definitely a learning experience. Um, I have a four-hour video that I'm going to be doing some editing on and then uploading so you guys can watch the uh, an actual play for our Shadowrun game uh, at some point. Um, that'll hopefully be up tonight or tomorrow, depending on uh, my schedule and my time and how long it takes to edit. Uh, so like I said, I know it's a four-hour video, but um, A, I want to condense it down a little bit, and B, I know there's some dead points in there and some some points we were looking things up and everything and I could probably cut most of that out so I will attempt to edit and see how well that works you never know who knows uh, we'll see how that works anyways um, uh, I've been trying to knock out th uh, some of the let's play videos and stuff uh, unfortunately I've run into a bit of a dead end with uh, Valkyria Chronicles I really, really do like the game. I think it's got a great story. I love the visual style to it, and I actually like the gameplay. The AI is a little dumb in places, but that's okay. I don't... I'll be completely honest. I don't play video games for the challenge. Um, I play them for the story. I play them for mechanics, and I play them just to sit and have fun. Um, I usually don't crank the difficulty up when the games have a difficulty setting because I don't find it fun when I'm losing a lot. Which is unfortunately kind of the point I hit with Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, Chapter 7 is a beast of a mission. Um, the, it, it's, it's, it's actually a little complicated too, because basically there's a big tank that comes in. Uh, the tank can do a massive amounts of damage to your troops, um, and it can't be damaged a normal way, so you have to do some, some gymnastics, basically, to kill it. Um... You have to you have to do certain special things to kill the tank, and it's a pain in the butt and difficult. And on top of that, um, there's other things going on. And after a certain point, there will also be like a secondary group of enemies will show up, and they also have some special abilities and stuff that will just wipe you off the face of the map. And I've just I I've currently not been able to beat that mission. Um, I found some walkthroughs and stuff on YouTube that uh, show that made it look really simple and really quick to beat, and I cannot seem to pull that off. Um, it requires either some luck that I'm not hitting, or some skills or something that my characters don't have, or I don't know what. Um, but I have not been able to replicate that. Um, it's also entirely possible because their version was the the old PlayStation version, and I'm playing a newer version that was done for Steam. So it is entirely possible that um, uh, it's entirely possible that the game has been tweaked since then. So it's not the, not the exact same thing. So either way, um, I don't know when Valkyria Chronicles is going to continue, because like I said, unfortunately, I am just getting my ass handed to me, and I cannot seem to beat it. Uh, so I do apologize, because I know there was a couple of folks that were watching and were enjoying that. Um, I will I will keep working on it, and once I figure out how to beat it, uh, I will do a recording and upload that. Um, but for the time being, I don't know. Um, I did manage to finally... I had one more Fallout video uh, that I had recorded uh, a while back, 
and then I started having some computer problems, so I never was able to get that one uploaded. Um, that has been uploaded, and it is currently processing and will be available shortly. Uh, it'll actually probably be up before this video is done, or before this video is uploaded, so uh, you might have already seen it. Anyways, that'll be, uh, I think it's part 8 of my Fallout playthrough. Uh, again, my Fallout game is um, probably not, I'm probably not going to do more Fallout videos, or at least not a serious playthrough video of it, uh, for two reasons. One, they've added a lot of things, and they've updated the game a bit. Um, since I did my rec original recordings, uh, the Wasteland DLC, uh, Wasteland Workshop DLC has gone in, as well as both the Automatron and Far Harbor uh, DLCs. Um, it, along the way, it kind of broke some of the mods that I was using, um, which is complete. Basically, has almost rendered my original playthrough. It's it's one of the dangers of using mods, unfortunately, is that things can break as you go, and that if you decide you're not using the mod or you find a new mod you like better, it can sometimes completely screw up your game. Uh, so the gameplay I, game I was playing through is kind of borked. Um, and it's not really playable anymore. It, it's kind of all messed up. Uh, on top of that, when they did the uh, Far Harbor update, they did a some graphical updates to the game. Um, they tweaked it a little bit. And unfortunately, my my laptop that I'm playing on is not the uh, the newest laptop around, and it wasn't. It was a decent gaming laptop when I bought it, but it is no longer. Uh, it, it was never top of the line to begin with. And now it's it's a couple of years out of date. Um, so unfortunately, uh, and as you may have seen when you were watching the, if you watched the, the previous Fallout uh, videos, um, my frame rate was never great to begin with. Um, unfortunately, uh, Far Harbor's, uh, uh, the whatever they did to the game to tweak it, has further uh, reduced my uh, frame rate problems. Um, or increased them, I guess you should say. Uh, it, despite the fact that I'm playing on fairly low graphics and with a lot of the particle physics and draw distance and all that stuff turned down as much as possible, unfortunately I'm still only getting, on average, about 15 to 20 frames per second. And once I get into like combat or if a bunch of stuff is going on on screen, my frame rate drops to about 5. So the game is sort of playable, but it's not pretty, and it's not something I, I would want to try to do recordings of. So, unfortunately, I probably won't do that. So, I'm going to be looking for some new games, to something new to, to do. Um, and so, if anybody has any requests or any suggestions, you know, feel free to post them over on my Patreon page or down in the comments below here or whatever, and I'll look into seeing if I can do that. Um, I, may dig in, I may dig into um, uh, Borderlands 2 a little bit, because I still... I've played a little bit of it, and I have, uh, there, was, there was, I think, one Borderlands playthrough video that I had posted. Um, I, I don't entirely know how much of that I'll get into, but I may do some something with that. Um, I do want to eventually get back to that one um, Japanese visual novelish looking game, the the Go Go Nippon, uh, the, the, the one where your character's visiting. Um, I did one video for that, and I do want to go back to that at some point, so I may may do that as well. Um, and I'll poke around and see if I've got anything else on the... Because uh, i got a bunch of other crap on my Steam account that I've... A whole bunch of stuff I've never played, a few older games, so maybe I'll dig into some of that. I don't know. Uh, so that's where that's at. Uh, I'm going to continue to do the Bull Direct stuff and reviews as I can. Um... I'm trying to put together another Shadow Talk. Um, I actually have a couple of Shadow Talk ideas. One of them is um, it, it, it's a, it'll be Shadow it'll be a Shadow Talk, but it's not necessarily specific Shadow Run. Um, I'm going to try to put together something for um, conventions. Uh, I've I have been doing Origins and Gen Con now for nearly 20 years. Uh, unfortunately, I am not making this year's shows uh, due to various financial issues and stuff that I've had. As, as most of you that have been following along know. Um, so, unfortunately, those, I just, I can't justify uh, spending the money to go this year. So, I am currently saving up, and I'm going to try to make next year a nice big, uh, big, I'm going I'm to try to do up next year really well. 
So for the time being, though, it means I'm not going this year. But anyways, but I have a lot of experience going to the conventions, and I've given out advice to any number of my friends and stuff, and I know I've got a bunch of friends that are going for the first time this year, um, and I'm really bummed I'm going to miss out on them. Jules, especially you, I was really looking forward to hanging out with you guys, uh, so I'm, I'm really disappointed I'm not going to make it for that. Uh, but anyways, uh, I will... Um, like I said, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put together something along those lines. So that'll probably be my next Shadow Talk. And I'll probably, I'm probably i going to try to get that out by the end of the week because Origins is, uh, I believe, next week. Or is it the end of this week? I'm not even sure. Uh, <laughs> I haven't been keeping as much track. Uh, Origins is rapidly approaching, so I'm going to try to get that done and posted uh, ASAP for, for my Origins going friends. But it will also uh, I will also talk about Gen Con as well because those are the two... two gaming conventions that I have experience with. So that'll be one of my things I'll do. Um, anyways, yeah, uh, I'm going to be continuing on with the Shadowrun game. Uh, if you're interested in joining that, please check out my Patreon. Uh, check out the link in the description below. Um, I run, uh, I'll be running that once a, once a month. Um, and like I said, this this week's was kind of a carryover from last week, so my next game will be the 27th. And again, I will edit those up and I will post those so you guys can watch the uh, the let's the the actual plays or let's play or however they call the the tabletop games that uh, get recorded and played. Uh, we're using Roll Twenty for it, which is kind of interesting. Although I'm not using it for like maps and tactical stuff, uh, I'm primarily using it as a central hub for voice and video chat. Uh, as well as a way to be able to present um, visual information to the players. Because I can post up pictures of the NPCs or pictures that represent locations or something like that, which is kind of cool. I really like that. Um, so Roll20 has been kind of fun for that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and call this because I've been rambling now for over 10 minutes. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please let me know what you want to see, seriously. Um, I'm more than happy to talk about almost anything and I would like to cater to my you know my subscribers and my viewers uh, tastes I mean I know there's not a ton of you guys uh, <laughs> but as long as there's one person watching it's worth doing as far as I'm concerned so let me know talk to me uh, comments below hit me on Facebook hit me on Twitter um, I probably should post out information somewhere uh, but anyways, uh, hit me up on, or leave a comment in the description below, or whatever. Uh, check out my Patreon if you're interested in supporting me as I do more videos along these lines. Uh, I also do fiction and game writing and stuff like that, and there's some of that'll be, I have a specific folder just for Patreon, so, uh, my Patreon backers get, ex uh, access to that information, or that stuff as well. Um, and that'll be it, I think. I've rambled enough. Uh, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, have a good one, and we'll see you around.